Hallelujah. Glory be to God, friends, and we are glad again to continue on the series, The Old Man. And my uh, prayer today is that the Lord will help us. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We appreciate your love. And thank you for your love and your word, because your word is a light unto our feet and a lamp unto our path. Father, let your word please be enough for us today. Scripture says, You send forth your word, and your word heals and delivers us from our destruction. Please let your word reach out to us today. And let your name be glorified this Wednesday in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Praise the Lord. We are glad again to be back. The old man, I remember our text is Ephesians 4 21 to 24. And I'm going to read it again today. I'm reading from the King James Version. The Bible says, If so be that ye have had him, and have been taught by him, and the truth is in Jesus, as the truth is in Jesus, that he put off concerning the former conversation, the old man which is corrupt according to the deceitful laws and be renewed in the spirit of your mind and that he put on the new man which, which after God is created in the righteousness and true holiness. Friends, it's a conscious effort to put off the old man and put on the new man. And many times, you know, even among people that are of God, people that are giving their life to Jesus, you see the issues. According to James chapter 4 from verse 1, and I like to read it to us. And you see, as I read, please look at it and you see how you can make adjustments. I see it's a conscious effort to put off the old man. Look at what happened among people. And at the end of the day, people will get discouraged and they will get angry with God. It's not always God. Let's look at it. James chapter 4 from verse 1 to 3. The Bible says, What is causing the quarrels and fights among you? Don't they come from the evil desire at war within you? You want what you don't have. So you scheme and kill to get it. You are jealous of what others have, but you can't get it. So you fight and wage war to take it away from them. Yet you don't have what you don't have what you don't you, you <laughs> please pardon me. Evil desires among you. So he said, yet you don't have what you want because you don't ask God for it. And even when you ask God, you ask you don't ask it because you, you you don't get it because your motives are all wrong. You want only what will give you pleasure. Can you, you can you see some pictures about yourself or about people around you? Many times we call them, we fight about things, we desire, we scheme. People go to the length of killing because they, see, at the end of the day. What does it turn? What does it turn to? What does it come to? What is the benefit? It's not worth it. All we need to do is look inward first. Take care of our desire. Let it not be lustful. Let it not be wickedness. The Bible says the heart of man is desperately wicked. Who can tell? Jeremiah 17 verse 9. A lot of people are living wickedly, and that is why they are not getting their heart desire. Remember. There is a man in the Bible called Gehazi. He was supposed to get double portion of anointing, but he ended up getting double portion of leprosy. Why? Because his lustful desire drove him to go and lie against the man of God and collect what he ought not to collect. Friends, put those things in check. I like to go for help. Let the old man not take the center space of your life. We'll see you tomorrow. The Lord bless you.